Max, do you agree with Pippin? Yep. Uh, no. I, I agree with his premise that that LeBron James game isn't mostly like MJ's or Kobe's. Mm -hmm. Although I always said when LeBron was coming into the league, it's like Michael and Magic had a baby and it's LeBron because he is playing above the rim. He's a high wire act in addition to everything else and, and, and can make difficult shots and, and all that stuff. Um, but actually the irony here is the identity of the speaker, Scottie Pippen, because actually LeBron James is most like a Scotty Pippen on steroids, so to speak. Uh, everything Pippen does, you know, like make Pippen an inch taller, make him 40 pounds heavier, and make everything he does 25% better. That's LeBron James. Point forward, can make plays for others. Uh, excellent defender, matchup nightmare for everyone. Uh, doesn't shoot the ball as well as he does some other things. That includes free throws. Uh, that, that's Scotty Pippen. Right? LeBron James is actually one of the problems, the dissonance, the cognitive dissonance people have when they try to compare LeBron James, their mind's eye to Kobe, for example. And Kobe just gives you a feeling that he's greater somehow. He gives you a feeling he's more alpha, right? Because he reminds you very much of Michael Jordan. And what about LeBron James makes you feel somehow he's not that guy? In fact, he's a way souped up Scottie Pippen, who was a great, great player. And LeBron James is that, all that, and then some. But that's the irony here. He's less like Magic or Kobe than he is like Scottie. I disagree with Scottie Pippen, but I do so respectfully. He's a six-time champion, one of the 50 greatest players in the world, and I have nothing but the most profound respect for his basketball IQ as well as his ability. I think that he's vastly underappreciated because of the defensive wizardry that he exercised throughout his playing career, and Jordan would not have won those titles without Pippen. So I want to make sure that everybody understands nothing but respect for Pippen, but I respectfully disagree with him because here's why. He can give me the stuff about positions all he wants to. And he's accurate about that in terms of Kobe and MJ being, quote, unquote, a scorer at the two-guard spot. But don't tell me that's, how not, that's not how LeBron is viewed, and, uh, especially in comparison to Magic. Now, Magic had career averages of 19, 11, and 7. Okay, he averaged 11 assists. Do you know that for the vast, the vast majority of Magic Johnson's career, he rarely attempted more than 13 shots per game? That's the vast majority of his illustrious career. Magic was a true facilitator. He was somebody that didn't have the greatest jump shot. He had a set shot. He was always looking to pass first. And he was never, ever, ever looked at it at, as a primary scorer. He had the greatest uh, 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 scoring center in the history, the greatest scorer in the history of basketball in Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with the one unstoppable move in the history of basketball. He had James Worthy as a small forward. He had Michael Cooper coming off the bench who had a set shot of his own from three-point range. He had Norm Nixon and then ultimately Byron Scott. Magic Johnson was never, ever, ever presumed to be a primary scorer for the um, for the Los Angeles Lakers. It's just that he was the architect and orchestrator of Showtime. He facilitated everything for everybody else, and he knew how to get his in the process. In the case of LeBron James, even though he has the skill set to be a distributor, even though his basketball IQ is off the charts, and he is about playing the right way and making the right play, Primarily, he has been seen as the number one offensive option on every team that he has played on. You might not make him the number one option when it's time to close, but you damn sure do it for the first 46 minutes. He's usually your number one option, and he makes the call as to whether or not he will distribute and defer and all of that other stuff. But he is the guy with the responsibilities similar to an MJ, similar to a Kobe, and more importantly, he came into the league proclaiming that by wearing number 23 before he ever bounced a basketball in the National Basketball Association. Then he comes out and announces that he's chasing ghosts. And everybody brings up MJ, but he's still two championships short of Kobe. So he's chasing Kobe and MJ. So I don't want to hear Magic Johnson, even though he's chasing Magic Johnson too because of the five rings. But the bottom line is the responsibilities were relatively different. He was a number one offensive well, option. That was never Magic. Well, Scottie Pippen is wrong here. Well, look, 
He's a number one offensive option um, because he has to be because that's what the league dictates. In other words, he gives you your best chance to score most possessions because that's how good he is. He's met with so little resistance compared to his own abilities and, and work ethic and everything else that he's, been, he's turned himself into something that's unstoppable. So why wouldn't you use that? As a, with a, he has a point guard's mentality, I think, is what Scottie Pippen's saying. But as a point guard, if you're the best option, that's what you'll use. Magic, when he needed to be, for example, as a rookie, when Kareem was hurt against the Sixers in the finals in game six, Magic jumped at center, gave him 42, 15, and seven. When he needed to be the primary scoring option, he was. But just he was playing with other players where he really didn't usually need to be that. And his talent wasn't such that on every night, he's actually the best number one scoring option. LeBron's is. LeBron's physical gifts um, and his ability and it allows him or dictates to, to LeBron James, the point guard brain, use me. Whereas Magic, when you're playing with Kareem, when you're playing with Worthy and the open floor is better than Worthy, Kareem, most unstoppable, as you said, why would you use yourself as the primary scoring option, particularly when you don't have the same physical gifts as LeBron? I think Pippen was talking mainly about LeBron's mentality, which again, I think Pippen is the closest comp to LeBron. Scottie Pippen, if you made him an inch taller and 40 pounds heavier and 25% better at everything, would be in the conversation for greatest player of all time as LeBron is. Let's I'll say it one more time. Magic Johnson was never the number one offensive option. LeBron James has spent the vast majority of his career being the number one option. LeBron has averaged 19.6 shots per game throughout his career. Magic is at 13.2. Case closed. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll leave it on that one. We're going to stay with LeBron, but get into another gifted.